The College of Science and Engineering covers the full spectrum of science, technology, engineering and mathematics in both teaching and research. Our college allows students to explore this wide range of disciplines and to gain the skills needed to solve the complex problems of the world around us. I think that teaching within the new college is going to be really dynamic. It's going to allow students a much broader range of um, potential courses and topics that they can take. Um, and we're really focusing on the student experience, allowing students to have opportunities to work in industry, to travel internationally, and to just see the real big picture of science and engineering. Internationally, innovation represents the lifeblood of modern economies. And in Australia, it is very important that we achieve our national innovation agenda. At Flinders, innovation is at the cornerstone of our strategic plan. And with the new College of Science and Engineering, endless possibilities for innovation exist for our students and industry partners. Through our presence here at Tonsley, Australia's innovation hub, our nationally leading work integrated learning program that has placed over a thousand students and our innovative research. This new college has removed silos and provide exciting opportunities for multidisciplinary research. For example, collaboration between staff from the School of the Environment and the School of Biological Sciences will be better supported through the new college structure and will also facilitate new collaborative research program across um, the coastal and the marine ecosystems. I believe that by removing the boundaries between traditional disciplines, we open up the opportunities for students to discover what they are best suited to and put them in a strong position for their future careers. Being student-centred is what Flinders University is all about.